Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Steve Cooper, food app critic for tokemag.com. Uh, I'm excited this week because uh, all the uh, judges' scoring cards are finally coming in for the 2012 Food App Awards. So uh, remember to check back on Twitter December 6th, uh, 4 p.m. Pacific Time. Uh, we will be announcing the winners, and it's going to be a live event on Twitter. Check it out, uh, hashtag Food App Awards. Um, so, but... Today we're going to be talking about a new app that I reviewed. It is called Food Truth. It is a free app. Um, there are some add-ons you can buy, as a lot of the apps now offer. Uh, but what this is is it's uh, broken down into four seasons, and it's ingredients that are in season um, throughout the year. So it's got fall, winter, spring, and summer. Um, spring and summer uh, have a lot of ingredients. So I say a lot. Uh, spring has 23, summer has 20, uh, fall and winter both have five apiece uh, ingredients wise, so that works it out to 53 ingredients. Um, and what it does is you click on one of these seasons, and at the across the bottom it gives you uh, little icons, uh, images, photos, really great photos in here of the ingredient. It gives you a, uh, the title of it, and then it gives you a brief description. Um, these descriptions are uh, kind of tiny in font, but they're really good. I mean, I, I enjoyed reading them. The nice thing is you can zoom in on the description if you need it to be larger for you. Um, so that's fine. Across the bottom are three um, preparation methods for that ingredient. Um, cinch, simple, and sensational. Uh, they're supposed to also kind of be um, in this order of difficulty, cinch being super easy to do, sensational being harder. Um, going through a lot of these, I can say that if you have spent any amount of time in the kitchen, even the sensational ones are pretty easy to whip together. So uh, don't be intimidated by that. Um, so this first page... The, the opening page all looks really great. I was super pumped about this app. Um, and then you get into these recipes. And you can see I just clicked on it. It's still loading. It's still loading. It's still loading. It's a little, um, it lags a little bit. It's a little sluggish. Um, and what you get in terms of the uh, recipe page, a bolder list of ingredients. Nice. Nothing special, but it's nice. Um, and then you get to the how part. And it's just one... A uh, long paragraph. Well, depending on how big the recipe is, but it's just one long paragraph of items. Um, so it's not really broken out the way you'd want it to be. So that's a big um, uh, mark against it. It also does things like it will abbreviate things. Um, salt and pepper to taste. It's S and P. Um, so I don't know why they would do something like that. Along the bottom, there are social media sharing buttons. But they're not sharing buttons. They're basically um, marketing tools for you to start following and liking their social media stuff. Um, across the and and so the other thing is you cannot uh, share this page, the recipe page, with anybody that you know. Um, going back to the previous one where you get to see the description of the item, you can share from here, and you can print and you can email. The email just takes like a snapshot of that page you're on. Um, and it, uh, th I tried doing the Facebook sharing of that page, and I got an error message. Um, and actually, on the recipe page, uh, trying to go to Pinterest, I got an error message on that, too. So a couple knocks there. Um, otherwise, that, I mean, that's pretty much the, the app. Um, it looks great, um, but the deeper you get into it, it's... Um, it, it's lacking a little bit on those recipe pages. Um, there's not a big, robust amount of functionality. It's free, um, so if I, you know, I wrote this in my written review, uh, this is really a seasonal app for me. It's supposed to tell you what's in season and how to prepare it. Um, but you only get five items in the um, winter, uh, and you only get five in the fall. So right now is not a good season for this app. Um, you can, like I said, you can add on more items, but it's only available for spring and summer, and those are $2.99 a pop, and I don't know if those are just five more or if those are 20 more. I couldn't find a description for that. Um, and um, I guess uh, overall, like this, this thing, it, it's got a lot of potential, but it's, um, I, again, I, in my written review, I kind of described it as um, you can tell this person has 
uh, the, the developer has skills, but it's like a, a number one draft pick in sports that just totally underperforms. Um, it's free, so if you have a garden in the summertime and you want a quick reference guide, this might be okay for you. Um, but being a seasonal app, now is not the season for it. Um, it it's okay. Like I can't, I don't want to hammer it too bad because there's stuff here that I think is nice. Um, it didn't crash on me. The the front end looks good. I know it's not supposed to be a giant recipe app. I get that. Uh, so for that reason, I took it a little easy on the score. Um, well, I'll just, I'll just come on and say it. I gave this app a 3 out of 5. So I would love to hear what you think about this app. Download it. It's free. Uh, check it out. And let me know if you think this is a, a 3 out of 5 or if I'm being too harsh on it. Uh, leave a comment below. Go to tokemag.com. Uh, leave a comment on the written review. And uh, tune in December 6th for the uh, 2012 Food App Awards. And until next time, I'll be doing this again soon. Thanks.